Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to the next episode review of Undead Unluck, episode 10. <clears throat> and kind of a, say, somewhat interesting in a way, but also like, okay, now there's like, like something that pops out, like just pops out of nowhere, but like, oh, they gotta deal with this, but it ends up very, ends very quickly though, so, but I'll get to that though. So, now that everyone's caught up now, um, everyone's gathered, gathered at the round table, um, Apocalypse, the Evil Dead book, <clears throat> uh, tells them about the tasks they've done. Um, one, two, and three, four, um, I think are, they've passed, they, they were successful in, so they get rewards, like one, there's a new, now uh, an 11 seat spot now, it's now open, and then they have the, shows, um, the world, um, shows the world, right, and it pinpoints two of more of um, more people with uh, abilities, one name unseen, and then another one by the name of un unrepair. So he pinpoints their locations, um, which early in the opening of this, where it shows a guy by the name of unrepair. I think he's talking to the guy unseen. He said he can make things invisible. I think. But I'm, uh, um, we're not too, too fully. Uh, it's only in the opening, so we're not too fully understand about the, what these two do. So I think because the thing with the guy is that uh, I'm repair is unrepair is like um, has one tied up and he has the gonna cut him open with a knife. I think. But then um, and then more of the and uh, more of the uh, wars that uh, they can um, for the people they can understand. They have received like all languages. Like everything's gonna be put in English. I think. That's what it says. It shows, like, different languages of science and said, like, keep out or something. It's now turned into English. <laughs> and, uh, but there was one more that, uh, there was one more quest that they, um, they failed at, so. And then, so that paper gets eaten by the Evil Dead book. And now they receive a penalty now. And so, this guy, now that they have the, um, um, number one, the number one seat, uh, Unjustice. Calls for this creature by the name of Move, takes them to the location where their penalty is going to be, instant teleportation by you know making the sky crack and make a hole in it, then it just repairs itself. So they take him to Australia, and um, uh, Fuko gets excited because she, there's this giant rock that's like a like a uh, a monumental thing. It's like the world's biggest rock, I think. I'm not too familiar with Australia's um um. The only thing that's the only thing I know about Australia is that famous um, that famous building that's in Sydney. You know that famous um, that building. I forgot the, what the name is though, but I know what it is. It's those. It's that building that has like those triangle pointy things. I forget the name of it though, but I know what that's one thing that Australia is memorable for. So, but I'm much familiar with this giant rock thing. So. So, um, Unjustice, uh, got, uh, tells about the penalty that, um, because, um, because how they got there, because the, one of the penalty, when the start of the penalty is that, um, Apocalypse, the book, unleashes is one called Yuma Galaxy. This galaxy-looking ghosty thing goes in, and then that's when they get to Australia, and now this thing shows, like, a whole bunch of, like, galaxy stars, and it shows those different... A little bit interesting visual of how it, how it does so many quick shots of things like in multi tricolors, quick shots of places and things and I don't get fully explain. If you have to watch it, it seems like a little trippy at first though. But it's like it's like nice, interesting, interesting, interesting of um quick editing of these tr multi tricolors, and then it shows the galaxy, you know, like the Milky Way and stuff like that. And and on Justice tells about the penalty that um. Because jumping, because um, after this battle, which I'll get to, but um, <clears throat> explains that uh, they have to protect this world because there's 101 penalties slots, right? And so this is their 99th one. So if they get um two more, then the whole thing, I guess, the world basically goes to shit, basically. So they have to <clears throat> do the best to avoid any more penalties. That's what their whole thing is there for. Sorry, this this little piece of skin on here. Sorry, <clears throat> it's been bugging me. Um, so so get another part of the penalty is it also just out of nowhere just some it just summons this alien this alien force now, 
<clears throat> so great. So now aliens are going to be involved, right? Which I thought, <laughs> I'm like, oh, they got to deal with this now. And then I guess the leader, the leader comes down. It's like, who are you? We know the only research about your planet. Your people are so underdeveloped and stuff like that, right? Talking smack, basically. And I'm like, how we're gonna? And I'm like, okay, all this, I don't know where this un <clears throat> alien force just comes down out of nowhere. It's like I deal with this. <clears throat> and I'm like, I was surprised to say that though. This got handled very quickly because injustice, I guess. <clears throat> I guess by with her ability, she takes off because most of the time she keeps her face covered, right? With it by this helmet, right? I guess when she when she finally takes her helmet off, reveals her face, right? And then it shows the title card of Unjustice. If you remember what I said, how I said title card. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been watching. I've been watching a lot of um, stuff from Dead Me. And when he goes to horror films, he mentions title card, title card. Personally, though, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's interesting how he does things with, with the kill counts on on horror films. Interesting on enough, though. But um, am I personally I'm overall big on Dead Meat, though? Not really. I mean, I mean, I wasn't. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention off topic, though. <clears throat> off topic. When I reviewed Scream Five and Six, I forgot to mention they um, he had a cameo in it in both those films. I forgot to mention. I'm like, <laughs> it's well. First of all, I don't think it's probably not even worth mentioning because cannot they cannot act in that. So even if it's for quick cameras, I'm like, eh. I'm like, dead meat could just just even if with that, they just cannot they just cannot act. Sorry to say. I mean, I like some of the I like some of the videos of kill counts of of horror films they do, like the Friday Thirteenth films and stuff like that. Though and um, yeah, you learn interesting things about the behind the scenes stuff, you know. But um. But their little appearance in Scream Five and the Scream Six, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> they just cannot act. But yeah, I just meant a title card because it shows when it shows when when Unjustice takes off her helmet and she reveals her face. It shows her title card, Unjustice. And so I guess by taking off her helmet, I guess she she just destroys the whole entire space force, makes the ships shoot at each other, and. <clears throat> Well, they steal from Captain America the Winter Soldier when the Hellcarriers are shooting at each other. When they made them shoot at each other. <laughs> but yeah, they made, made like, all the ships are shooting at each other. And then the, the leader just is, a, is a just stunned, dumbfounded. It's like, whoa. Oh, oh, how do you do that? How do you... <laughs> so I guess that's our I guess that's our power, I guess. I guess you call it ju injustice. You take out, you take, you, she takes her helmet off, shows her face, and then boom, the whole... Force has been wiped out. <laughs> I'm like crazy, you know. I mean, this show is crazy, so hey, want to add some more craziness? Unjustice. Boom, your whole force is gone. <laughs> oh man. I mean, this is why this show is a lot. This is why this is why this show this show is a lot of fun to watch. It is. <laughs> now, is it the same like watching like Spy? Is it on the same level like Spy Family? No, but. Well, I guess what the, on this level of craziness, I guess I, I say this is fun as to, due to its level of craziness, but um, <clears throat> um, and then the leader um is like, uh, is still there though, and she goes and tells them, um, send a message to space and don't ever come back to Earth, and the guy just like leaves, kind of like almost like losing his mind this type of way how how you know when you lose your start losing your mind you start laughing maniacally right he starts he just leaves is like <laughs> and then you get this little cartoon you get this, this this cartoonish effect where he's on his ship and he just goes wee 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 you know like those cartoon sound effects you know like wee 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 I mean, it's so good. It's a very cartoonish way. Now he just ships, just goes wee 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 all the way back to wherever it is it came from. So, and now they now they have a chance to give them the new task now to find unseen and and unrepair. So they're going to find unrepair because this is his uh, unrepair's ability to undo ability. So Fuku is asking, hey, take let's take this one because this may this one may this, this guy may be able to give Andy. A good, an actual death, you know. Yeah, that's the whole thing about living off over two hundred years for Andy, you know, like wanting to die and an actual death, though. So Fuko's like, "Hey, 
Um, so I said, hey, let's just do this. Let's do this. Maybe you can get you can get you can get an actual death now. So it's be him, uh, Andy Fuko, and um, the the big machine ball, uh, Tichi Tichi. I pronounce the name. So the big machine black machine ball is gonna be joining with them. So. And then that's so uh, that that until the next uh, task, you know, episode is say. So yeah, it was it was fun, interesting, like I said, interesting how the way it shows the visuals of the galaxy and like those multi tricolor quick shots, you know. And then with Unjustice, where Billy gets to take off her helmet and then just destroy a whole space force, it's like just like that, making the leader dumbfounded, you know. <laughs> like how do you do that? So. <laughs> But I guess it shows the more they, by how uh, dealing with a penalty, you know, keeping the world safe, but don't invo- don't get any more penalties. So, but um, but yeah, it was very fun. It was a fun episode. I want to say it's it's this show is like it's crazy. It's craziness is very fun to watch. It still is. So, but anyway, um, but, but yeah, it was still a fun episode. I would say, like I said, all the same things I said about this episode, it was fun still. Crazy, crazy fun. I could say. But anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode of Spy Family, and we'll see you next time. Later.